Well, good morning and welcome to T and T. Jason, something's different. You got a new hairstyle? Yeah. You've had a haircut? Yeah, that's it. What is it, Jason? Coming up on today's episode, we've got Is Time Travel Possible? It's a new jumper, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to talk about time travel in a minute. We've also got Fun Fact Friday today, haven't we? Hold on. Is time travel possible? Yes. Well, no. You idiot. It isn't, is it? Marty McFly time travelling back to the future, Greg. It's a film, Jason. You were standing on your toilet and you were hanging a clock and you fell and you hit your head on the sink and that's when you came up with the idea for the flux capacitor, which is what makes time travel possible. So with all this talk about time travel over the last few weeks, Greg. Yeah, you know we did Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters. You know we did Ghostbusters yeah. uh, about two weeks after Halloween. Yeah. What you've come up with this week is to do something to do with Back to the Future over a month after the Back to the Future craze in the world. Yeah. It's all about timing, isn't it, Jason? It is about timing and time travel, Greg. <gasps> is time travel possible? Well, I got to thinking that the other night and I thought I'll have a look on the interweb and see if there is any evidence of time travel. Well, it would seem that lots of people have posted supposed evidence of time travel on the internet. You've had a wash, haven't you? That's what it is. Yeah. The first one is taken from some footage of the premiere of a Charlie Chaplin film called The Circus and although it dates back to 1928, the story only came out in 2010 when a DVD was released and a guy in Ireland called George Clark spotted this little bit of footage in the extras on the DVD that he says proves that time travel is possible. Is this going to make you spit your breakfast out, Jason? It might. Would you like to see it, Greg? Let's go with it. Look out for a woman in 1928 on her mobile phone. Go on then, ask me. Because I'll tell you what I think about it. Greg, ask me. Was that irrefutable evidence that time travel is possible? Was that what? Irrefutable evidence that time travel is possible. Or could there possibly be another explanation? Irrefutable. Well, there is another far simpler explanation for it, Greg. Irrefutable. It would seem that the lady in the uh, video there is probably just hard of hearing. Mm. There were hearing aids available at the time that you held up to your ear in that way, in the manner of a mobile phone. So she was probably using one of those hearing aids and that's far more likely than the fact that she time travelled from our time to the Charlie Chaplin premiere and used a mobile phone. I think it's irrefutably not true. Greg, I've got a picture I want to show you. It's truly fascinating today, isn't it? Take a look at this image. You what? This photo. You will see on this photo a picture that was taken in 1941 at the reopening of the South Fork Bridge in Canada. And there's one man on that picture that stands out, isn't there, Greg? Mm. The man supposedly wearing wraparound shades and a printed T-shirt, clearly not available in 1941. Is that, Greg, incontestable evidence of time travel, or is there another explanation? Would you like me to tell you the explanation? The uh, time travelling hipster, as it's come to be known, has circulated on the internet since about 2010 and is probably one of the most famous of our time travel stories here. It is not doctored at all, there is no photoshopping going on in that picture. The glasses that he's wearing were safety star glasses that were available at the time and the t-shirt has since been uh, told to be that of a hockey team that was around at the time. Um, Clearly he was dressed very differently to everybody else, however he was dressed in clothing that was available at the time and therefore is not a time traveller. It's the same word as the others, isn't it? Yes, it means right. the same meaning, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Are you just trying to stitch me up? No. 
This one I'm sure you will have heard of, Greg, because it was turned into a film in 1984 starring Michael Parry and uh, Nancy Allen. It was called The Philadelphia Experiment and it was supposedly based upon fact that in 1943, sometime around October 28th, the US Navy conducted some ex experiments, that's easy for me to say, to uh, make their ships invisible to radar. Mm. However, said experiments went wrong and the ship supposedly disappeared in real life for a period of time. Now, the US Navy denies that those experiments ever took place. Um, Have you cut your eyebrows? Is that what it is? No. However, some of the crew from the USS Eldridge have told stories about the ship disappearing uh, and reappearing somewhere else in time for a short period. And there's also stories of men's bodies being moulded into the hull of the ship and all sorts. Uh, and as I said, it was turned into a film uh, starring Michael Paré and Nancy Allen in 1984. One day, it's 1943. The next, it's 1984. Somehow we got moved in time. Good Lord, there it is. He has fallen through time, but time is running out. Now we can't stop it, but I believe that you can. Michael Paré, Nancy Allen. Good luck, Sailor. Go! The Philadelphia Experiment, rated PG. So, Greg, is that indubitable evidence of time travel? In actual fact, it probably is just a made-up story. The Navy denied that the experiments ever took place. However, there are hundreds of conspiracy theories that says that the experiments did take place. And there's no real evidence to back up the stories that were told by the crew of the USS Eldridge. It's the same meaning again, isn't it? Yes, Greg. I've got one more to show you, Greg, and this is a good one. Are you ready? So, Greg, this is the story from 2006 of Dragging on a bit, isn't it? Hawkan Nurkt Vist, a man who supposedly came home and found water upon his kitchen floor. Upon investigating, found it was coming from the sink, and so decided to get out his tools and fix it. Underneath his sink, he found a wormhole to another time, and he entered the wormhole. Sounds as though it can't be true, doesn't it, Greg? That's what he thought, mm. but luckily he had his mobile phone on him. So he took footage of himself through the wormhole meeting his older self. And to prove that it was his older self, they both showed exactly the same tattoo upon their arms. So Greg, is that unassailable evidence of time travel? Or not? Un un unassailable. Now, as convincing as the story was in 2006, it appears that this was one of the first... It's the same word, isn't it? It's the same meaning again, isn't it? Yes, Greg. One of the first viral ad campaigns and uh, it actually was all staged by an insurance company who wanted to extol the benefits of pensions. So Greg, the answer to the question, is time travel possible, is probably a big fat no. Well I have to say that Jason, it was very interesting, I found it totally magnesium balls. It's Friday. Is it a fun day? It is a fun day, so it must be a fun fact Friday, Greg. I thought it was Tuesday today. No. This is live. Oh. Fun fact Friday. Um, shall I go first? Okay then, mate. Did you know that in the story of Humpty Dumpty... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my favourites. Nowhere does it ever mention that Humpty is an egg. It doesn't, does it, Jason? No, Greg. Why is it an egg then? Who knows? That is a fun fact on a Tuesday, a Friday, because we're filming on a. Yeah, it's a fun fact Friday. Yeah. Would you like my one? Yeah, go on. Then. My one involves one of my uh, pop star heroes, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. He hasn't got any brothers. Uh, my fun fact is 
He originally wrote the song Bad. I mean, I could do a million of these, by the way, with Jacko. Just do one. Okay, let's do one. <laughs> he originally wrote the song Bad, which is the 80s song, uh, as a duet with Prince. Did not know that, Greg. Fun fact Friday, Jason. That is a fun fact. Fun fact. I've got another one. Go on, then. Is it a Michael Jackson one? No. Michael Jackson! However, as we are I on the... if Michael Jackson watches Ghostbusters! As we are on the run-up to Christmas, I have got a fact about Easter. You've mentioned it, haven't you? <laughs> That's very good, Jason. Thanks. I just... you mentioned Christmas. I have, yeah. Everyone's just cringed. Uh, did you know that when eating an Easter chocolate bunny, a mm. study showed that 70% of people went for the ears first, 5% mm. uh, of people went for the feet first, mm. and 4% went for the tail first? Doesn't mention the other 15%, so I don't know what they did. Next fact, Greg, have you got another one? Well, where else would they go, Jason? Tummy. Bum. Yeah, I've got one, Jason. Did you know, you know the herring, the fish? Yeah. You know when they communicate to others? Yeah. You know how they do it? They yeah. fart, Jason. You had to put a fart one in there, didn't you? They mate? fart, Jason. I thought we were going to get through Fun Fact Friday without it becoming Fun Fact Fart Friday. Fun Fact Fart Friday. Herrings talk by farting. So it'd be like the clangers, but with a fart noise. But you do a lot of talking. That sort of noise, don't you, Jason? Greg, hmm? before we go, I'm going to tell them about the t-shirts. Yes! We have got t-shirts. We have opened a Spreadshirt t-shirt shop. That's not easy to say. Well done, Thanks Jason. Thanks very much. That was Mahesian balls. The link to the t-shirt shop is in the description below, or I might even put it on the screen, Greg, but you can't click that unless you're on a computer and then you can... And anyway, we've got t-shirts and... Um, a little bit of the money from those t-shirts goes to us, which helps us to continue making these episodes of Tea and Toast, doesn't it, Greg? We're not selling out, because we don't get hardly anything for it. No, we just, we just get a little bit. Most of the money goes to Spreadshirt. But you could own a little piece of Tea and Toast, too old to grow up, or there's a few other designs on there, isn't there, Greg? Designed by us as well. Yes, don't designed that... exclusively by us. I was actually about to say that, Jason. You don't let me talk, do you, Jason? No. Just carry on, Jason. Um, so, check out the website. Uh, they would make excellent Christmas presents. It's your beard, you isn't it? it You've is got great. no beard. Got no beard. Got no... T-shirts, Jason. Yeah, so... Uh, Bags. Check out. Oh, yeah, there's a bag on there as well. Too old to grow up retro style bag. Um, have a look. And in the meantime, we will see you next time on Tea and Toast.